Hey Oasis, Pastor Caleb here. I wanted to come to you this afternoon with a couple of reminders to make sure that everyone's up to date on things that are going on here at the church. And to start that off, I need to first issue an apology because a couple weeks ago, we were blessed to have the opportunity to provide Sunday school for both our 9 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. services. And apparently we didn't do a good enough job at communicating that for the time being, that was going to be a one-time deal. We're still only able to offer our Sunday school during the second service, 10.45 a.m. at this point in time. Now, uh, I'm working with the staff, I'm working with our volunteers to try to build a Sunday school that by this summer, will be able to function in both our first and second services. In order to make that happen, we're gonna need more volunteers. So if you are interested in helping out in any capacity, helping our kids here at Oasis learn about Jesus Christ, then please contact the church office, 423-2300. Stacy Chambly, the coordinator of Kid Ministry, myself, we'll all get you plugged in. And then one more uh, reminder about Kids Ministry. Because we've gone back into doing breakfast, and I'll talk about that next, our kid men check-in is going to be in the fellowship hall from here on out. We've previously had it in the sanctuary, but we're going to move that over to the fellowship hall where everyone are ha is having breakfast, and that's where you'll get your wristbands for your kid and get them all checked in. Now, breakfast. Hey, guess what? This last Sunday, we started back up again. Many of you guys missed that. It's one of those ministries that during COVID has been gone and it's made all of us sad that it's been gone. Well, we finally get to jump back into that. 30 minutes before each service, we're gonna be offering a continental breakfast. Very sanitary, prepackaged pastries, fruits, that type of stuff. So at 8.30 a.m., we start serving for our 9 a.m. service. And then at 10.15, right after the 9 a.m. service is done, we'll be serving again in preparation for our second service. So we hope to see you during that time of fellowship. It's a great opportunity to meet people that you haven't met before and to encourage one another. So I hope to see you there. One more big uh, reminder is for this Saturday night from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., Parents Night Out. The youth group is going to be putting on a fundraiser to try and raise funding to send kids to camp this summer. From 6 to 9 p.m., you can bring your kids to the church and we will watch them. We will feed them a pizza dinner. We will help them have a good time. So you get three hours with your spouse or otherwise to go and do whatever it is that you would love to have some free time to do these days. Now we're asking that if you're gonna bring your kids by on Saturday night, that you sign up by the end of the day on Wednesday of this week. Give the church office a call. Again, that's 423-2300 in order to sign up. You can also email us at info at oasiscma.org. We're also asking for a $10 donation per child if you can afford it. Again, this is a fundraiser for summer camp. We want to send as many kids to camp as possible. Lastly, I want to give a bit of a follow-up that I didn't have time to really work into my message on Easter Sunday. You might remember we talked about this idea of renewal. And I said that renewal occurs when loss rebalances our valuation of transient and eternal things. What I meant by that was when we lose things in this life, when we lose temporary things, we're meant to understand and realize that they were always temporary to begin with. And that's supposed to shift just how much we value this life and, and raise or increase our value of the kingdom of God that we're pursuing and that we have hope in, in Jesus Christ our Lord. Well, there's a spiritual discipline is what I'll call it, that Christians have been participating in for a very long time that you may have heard of. It's called fasting. Fasting is the idea that I'm going to voluntarily give something up for a season, for a time, in order to gain something else. In a sense, fasting is a, is a way of voluntary suffering, okay? It's saying, I'm going to lose this, let's say food. I'm going to give up food for 48 hours. And the reason that I'm giving up food is so that I can perhaps recognize its temporary value so that I can rebalance or reevaluate and maybe gain sight of something that I might have lost. Now, it doesn't have to be food. It could be anything. It could be television. It could be Facebook. 
but sometimes it's helpful in our 21st century context of America where, frankly, our, our degree of suffering can sometimes feel so much less than many other places on, on the planet. Sometimes it's helpful to initiate sort of a pseudo-suffering of our own to initiate a sense of loss for a designated period of time in order so God can kind of step in and help rebalance our valuation of his kingdom and increase just how much we want to achieve it, just how much we want to hold on to what God offers us in Jesus Christ. So I know when I was growing up, the idea of fasting was such a bummer. What do you mean I don't get to eat lunch today, Mom? But I promise you, it's not just some sort of legalistic, empty thing that churches make people do. It's something that you can voluntarily engage in, and it might just be helpful in helping you to rebalance just how much you value the temporary world that we live in compared to the eternal world that's coming. I love you all so dearly. I cannot tell you what a blessing it is to be here in Fallon, Nevada in this beautiful spring weather with Oasis Community Church pursuing the gospel of Jesus Christ together, leading Fallon families to find and follow Jesus and mobilizing resources to evangelize the world. I would not rather do it with anyone else than you. Have a great afternoon. I love you all, and we'll see you on Sunday.